business groups have reacted with dismay after a phone call this afternoon with the Prime Minister and the Cabinet Office Minister Michael Gove. The companies were hoping for an update on the state of the trade talks with the EU. Our business editor Simon Jack is with me now and they don't feel they got that, do they? No, they don't, Sophie. Uh, they saw this as an important call at a crucial moment. EU trade talks seemingly on the rocks. They wanted to find out what's really going on. Are we going to get a deal, aren't we? Express some of their hopes and fears. Well, the call lasts just 21 minutes. The Prime Minister left after 15 minutes and one attendee described the call as terrible. It was a terrible call, unbelievably disrespectful to businesses and what they're going through with the COVID crisis. That was in response to the PM who reportedly said there was too much apathy in the business community. They needed to get ready. And that came off, some said, like more of a lecture than listening. Uh, it was basically a download from government rather than two-way traffic. Uh, and to be fair to the government, Businesses have been told they're things they need to do, deal or no deal. How, and it wasn't all bad. Uh, Mr Gove, I'm told, said he still hoped that it was possible to get a deal and promised to take up the idea of, of transition vouchers for some of the small businesses. But he, he closed the call by saying it was a bit like moving house, a bit of disruption until you get used to the house, the new house you live in. It could be, be bigger, it could be better. Fair to say that message felt pretty flat businesses were significantly less upbeat after the call than they were when they went on it. Simon Chair, thank you.